is up you guys welcome back to my bookish world i'm alex and today i'm going to be talking about my 2022 goals now again it's already 2022 um but i still have goals for this year um i'm gonna share like a few personal ones um bookish ones obviously and i guess youtube ones and writing ones um yeah so let's get to it um so for my bookish one i will say i am planning on reading 52 books this year um, which is, like, one book a week, which isn't bad. I'm already too ahead of schedule, according to Goodreads, so that's pretty cool. Um, so, like, I don't know. I feel like it's a pretty good goal. I usually set it to 40, but now that I'm not in school, I still feel like 52 books a week is manageable for me. Um, or 50, not 52 books a week, 52 books in a year is manageable for me. Um, I'm also hoping at some point to not buy as many books and utilize my library although right now um I don't live close enough to my like main library location um because I when my mom moved I moved I still have my library card um and it doesn't expire for the next few years so I mean, I use, like, ebooks and audiobooks, but I would really love to get back into using the library at some point, because I have hauled quite a few books this year already, which is mildly embarrassing, um, but I would like to support my library again, which at some point I hope I can do, which I guess kind of leads me into, like, my personal goals, but I'll save those. Um, and I'll say for my writing goals, at this moment, I just want to get the project that I'm currently working on drafted. I would like to start on revisions for my net, for my um, completed work in progress. Um, I never finished revisions last year, or maybe I did, but I'd like to get back to those, uh, do more revisions, maybe see if some people from my NYU program would be willing to read it. And I'd also like to draft more. Um, I'd like to say that I'd like to be able to query my completed work in progress this year, but I'm not going to put that in the air right now because I'm not sure if I'll be ready, which is totally fine. Um, and then, yeah, I guess I don't really have any writing goals. Um, my booktube goals are really just post consistently. I feel like last year I was not very consistent with posting and I will say that's mostly because of it just a lot last year was a lot I graduated college and then I had my NYU program and then I was adjusting to working a lot and then I started a new job and I don't know there's a lot happening last year it was a lot of change last year and I think when a lot of change happens I tend to be uncomfortable with it which is understandable um so I'd like to be more consistent. I'd like to grow my channel a little bit. Um, although I am happy where my channel is. I don't want to grow it to the like huge. I like my channel. I like being a small creator um, and just being able to sit and chill. But I would like to grow it a little bit. I'd also like to start posting more on my Instagram. My bookstagram. Um, by the way, I changed my at on Twitter and Instagram to at Alex H Reads. Um, because I just felt like it hit, it hit better. Also, I want to be able to use that as kind of, um, a reference when I'm applying for marketing positions. Um, and Alex H. Reads just sounds a lot more professional than my bookish world, although I think I'm still going to keep the name for my channel, because that's where I started. Um, and yeah, that's really it. As for personal goals, my biggest goal this year is to move out um preferably by the end of the summer which gives me a lot of months to kind of figure out how I'm going to make that happen um right now I you know I'm currently working at Barnes and Noble and I'm not really planning on moving out while I'm working there um but I am like applying for full-time positions and all that kind of stuff and yeah <laughs> um I would just like to move out this year because you know I've in May, I will have been a college graduate for over for a year, and yeah, I don't know. I just like to be moved out at 23. Feels like a good time. Um, so obviously, I'll be working at full time positions. I'm hoping that this marketing internship will maybe turn into a full time position uh, 
in the future, but we'll see. I'm also, like I said, part of why I said that like using my library I want to do more is because I want to move out and I want to go back to the area where my library is being used, where I'm close to a library location, um, and being able to check out books more often. So yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Follow my social media down below. That's Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.